obviously with credit, you know, there's the good and the bad. So, but what's the cost of bad credit? Uh, okay, so unfortunately the cost of bad credit can be staggering when you actually take a look at the numbers. So the people who have bad credit, which is a huge majority of the people who even know what their credit score is or utilize their credit, um, they're the ones who pay the high interest rates for auto loans, credit cards, mortgages. Um, one huge difference is when you go to get a mortgage, if you can raise your score from a 620 to a 760, it's a savings of $3,300 a year. Oh, wow. Which equivalates to $100,000 of interest over a 30-year fixed mortgage. Um, so there's good and bad about that too. People are in a hurry to purchase a house, right? Mortgage rates are always regulated because the government has a hand in it. One thing that people become basically a predator to, if you will, or you know, there's predatory lending is with auto loans. So with auto loans, you can go up in the 20s to get a car because everybody really needs a car. And there are people who can spend upwards of four to $500 a month in interest on a vehicle loan. So the cost of bad credit hits you everywhere that you go. Your insurance rates are higher. If you go to rent something, you're gonna have a higher deposit to put down. Those you typically can get back. Um, but any loans, lines of credit, credit cards, um, even leases, you can be you know, declined to get a lease on a vehicle if that's the way that you wanna go. Um, and then again, it can affect you into getting a home, to advancing in your career, getting clearances, and also landing a job as well. So it can be detrimental to somebody's life in a big way. Yeah, so it would be bad for some of my clients to have a bad credit. So you need to talk to Mandy about to fixing up your credit.